Welcome back to In the Zone. Northview fresh off their first win over Terre Haute North since 2006. Went on the road to Edgewood. The Mustangs debuted their new field turf. Let me tell you, I've covered high school football for 15 years now. Never seen any turf like this in person like I saw tonight. Check this out. Edgewood's mm. new field turf is red. Know your eyes aren't deceiving you. Only other place I know this to exist <laughs> is Eastern Washington University. Edgewood defense inspired early on. David Brown with the interception. Mustangs D keeps Northview off the scoreboard in the first, but it's only a matter of time before this Northview offense strikes. Too many weapons. Second quarter, Trey Shaw hits Trevor Cook. Cook 71 yards, Northview 7-0. MJ Shelton had a nice game for Northview. He ripped off several first down runs like this 12-yard gain. He finished this Northview drive with a six-yard touchdown run. He ran for 111 yards and two scores. Northview rolls 42-12 the Knights, 2-0. They knock off Edgewood for the 10th straight time. South Putnam visited Owen Valley. South Putt at the OV 25-yard line. Eagles QB, Devin Cash into the end zone. Steven Schnepp. Beats two defenders to haul in the score. Eagles 34-0 in the second quarter. The next couple of plays, things just get crazy. Ensuing kickoff, Glenn Henshaw fields it, follows his blockers to set things up, and has gone 78 yards to the promised land. And then how about this, Casey? Two plays later, South Putnam is back at it. Adam LeBlanc says, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. 80 yards, he races this thing. Three touchdowns scored and just five plays. Wow. That's good for TV purposes. <laughs> we love it. Gets his highlights quickly. <laughs> South Putnam crushes Owen Valley 57-14. Casey. Well, strong season openers move North Central up to second place in the Class 1A polls while North Davies crack the rankings for the first time this season. The Cougars come in at 21st in this week's Class 1A poll. These two ranked teams meet in a 1A showdown tonight, and it's out at North Davies. We go to the first quarter. Cougar quarterback Jacob Cumbus in the pocket. He steps up and decides he's going to take it himself. Great footwork, dodges some tacklers, and moves the chains for North Davies. The drive continues. Cumbus looking to pass. This ball is tipped and it's into the hands of Brighton Suggs for the interception. The North Central defense came to play tonight. They had five Ooh. interceptions in this game. Then in the first quarter, we're going to see this all season long. Dawson Basinger gets the handoff and see you later. He scores the touchdown for the T-Birds. Basinger goes for 284 yards and five scores. If you're keeping track at home, that's 10 touchdowns in two games this season. That's about 10 more than you had in your career? <laughs> yes. In, in <laughs> fact, yes. North Central flexing the muscles once again tonight. The T-Birds go on the road and win big at North Davies. North Central wins 52-0 over the Cougars. Meanwhile, 1A fifth-ranked Eastern Green goes on the road to face North Knox in the first quarter. A big run here from Gavin Doan. This kid just could not be brought down. He gets to the sideline. A excited coach in the way. Tack on a face mask call, too. And North Knox is threatening a few plays later. They give it to the same guy that's Gavin Doan in for a touchdown. And North Knox jumps out to an 8-0 lead. Going the other way, though, Blaine Campbell says, hey, I know how to run a football, too. He gets to the sideline. Watch this. Breaks two tackles there. Breaks another Ooh. one and stays on his feet. A big gain for the T-Birds, and they're knocking on the end zone. A couple plays later, Jaden Evans gets the handoff in the sweep to the far side, and he goes 35 yards for the touchdown. This was a battle down in Bicknell. North Knox had a shot at the end zone late in the fourth quarter, but the clock runs out for the Warriors. Eastern Green holds on for the victory, 21-14 T-Birds. Well, no doubt one of the best stories from week one was Park Heritage. The Wolves are in their first season this year, and they picked up their first varsity football win in the program's debut last Friday. The Wolves looking for their first home win as they play their opener tonight, entertaining Covington. We go to the first quarter. Wolves are trailing, but you know those special teams, it can all happen on one play. That's Austin Petrillo who takes the kickoff from the five yard line and goes 95 yards all the way to Pater for the touchdown. That ties the ball game 7-7. Later, Logan White, the quarterback, just flips it out to Ben Link who picks up a nice first down. The Wolves 
a little camera shy while we were there, but they find the end zone plenty in this game. After a bit of a slow start, Park Heritage roars away as the Wolves win big and stay undefeated. Park Heritage 52-19 over Covington.